This video is brought to you by Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp that offers in-person and online courses in a variety of subjects, including web development, iOS development, user experience design, software quality assurance, and Salesforce development. For more information, consult the link in the description below. Of what we covered, uh, just sort of an overview of what we went over, and also maybe some ideas for how to take the project that we've worked through in this video and also maybe extend it to something else that would be useful to you. So one thing that I wanna say is that, of course, this is pretty limited functionality. You could definitely take this and go quite a bit further. You could add in a cron job, so something that would actually execute, let's say, every day, and it would maybe check the prices, so that way the price could be checked if the price went up, if it went down, and you can put in some maybe some formatting for the cells to check if the price did go up, put in like a little green text, or if it did go down, put in some red to make sure that the spreadsheet reflects this information. You could also update the message that you send in the email. So for instance, if you wanted to send kind of a digest of what was updated, uh, the total amount that you saved, the total amount that you would spend, you could definitely do that as well. So in inside of this here, the message could be adapted so that way it contains a little bit more information as opposed to just an alert. So the way that you could do that is you could, once you've extracted this uh, price information, you could have another class function inside of this class that would be responsible for going through, let's say maybe the previous instantiation of the data in the spreadsheet, if there is data there, and then processing that comparing that to the new prices that you acquire and um, seeing if there's any comparative difference between the two. So there's a number of things. I mean, that's a very limited range of things that you could extend upon. Um, there's many, many others depending on what your needs are. So I'll just kind of leave it at that. I'll let your imagination do the work with respect to how, if you wish, to extend this program. If you do, I hope you share it with me because I'm always interested in things that will automate my own life and make my own life easier and if this can make someone else's life easier as well then that's always an added bonus. Uh, all the code for all of the things that you've seen in this video is going to be freely available on my github so you can feel free to not follow along and type out every single thing that I type out but instead just download it with the exception that of course you fill in things like the credentials, set up your email, things like that but everything else should be fairly uh, self-explanatory and also provided for you in the on the github link if you have any questions or comments please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below or reach out to me in any other uh, channel that I have listed on my YouTube page uh, if you like this type of content please let me know because this is something that was fun for me and I thought I would share it with the rest of you if everyone else seems to have a positive response on this type of content then I can try to uh, generate other content that would have kind of a similar flavor. Uh, even if you don't like it, please give me, you know, criticisms. I'm always trying to improve the channel and try to uh, improve upon the content that I deliver. So I'm babbling now, so I'll stop. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.